up, welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. I am so excited to be back finally. Well, okay, I'm not excited for this video because this video is a story time, if you can tell by the title, about a freaking tarantula that I found in my apartment and it was absolutely terrifying. The story is more funny than scary, so I hope you are excited for a good laugh today. If you like this video and you really like seeing this story time and you want to see more story times on my channel, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. Say hi, hello, what's up, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. <laughs> If you are brand new to my channel, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I was about to do this, but that is not subscribe, that is thumbs up, not subscribe, okay. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, just the red button, click that so you can be notified every time that I upload, and also, don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. You will always get notified every time that I upload, and you'll never miss out on another video, and it's super exciting. I think that is about it, so let's just go ahead and jump on into the story. Okay. Okay, so this story is terrifying. This happened, what day was this? What day was this? Wednesday, Thursday. <coughs> Trust me. So my class that day ended at 6.30. I got home around 7 o'clock-ish and I unlocked the door. My roommate is not home. I walk in and immediately I something on the ground catches my eye and it's like this, it looks like a little hairball. Like if you have a dog who sheds a lot, it looked like one of those like hairballs. So I walk in, I'm just like, I see it. I'm just staring at it, trying to figure out what it is, what kind of hair, why is there hair on the floor? I'm super confused by this. And I was about to pick it up to throw it away until I got a little closer and I saw legs. Eight legs. I saw eight legs. I freaked out obviously because I saw legs, but I wasn't exactly 100% sure if it was a spider or some kind of other bug or something. So I quickly like shut my door. I ran over to my room, unlocked that door, ran inside, and then I went to get my flashlight to go look at this thing because it, the where it was in my apartment, there wasn't a light directly above it. So I couldn't exactly see and it was kind of dark and it was blending in with the floor very well, not gonna lie. And your homegirl is blind as a bat and needs glasses to see. So that's exciting. And I wasn't wearing my glasses. Thank God, because I don't think I would have wanted to see what this spider looked like up close. So I turn on my flashlight on my phone and I shine it on this so-called hairball. And immediately I see something reflective. Like the light is reflecting in like little black circles on this little body. And that's when I completely decided that yes, this was a giant spider. I wasn't exactly sure what kind of spider. All I knew was that it was a really big spider and I was absolutely terrified. I didn't know right from the start that it was a tarantula. I just had the worst luck so far this year. But anyways, okay, so first thing I do is FaceTime my best friend and I yell at her and I'm like, hey, Jackie, what do I do? There's a spider on my floor, giant ass spider. I don't know what to do. And she was telling me to get like a cup to place over the spider, but like that thing was about this big around with its legs and everything, you know, the size of a tarantula, you know. And so she told me to put a cup over it to trap it and like let it die or something in the cup or something like that. And I was like, there is no way in hell am I getting close enough to that stupid little spider to put a cup on it. And plus my cups aren't that big. They're just like little tiny cups. Like I'm pretty sure I would have cut off the spider's legs. I'm just imagining me doing that and the spider like freaks out and starts running around and then me screaming. Oh my God. I just had a little like flashback. <laughs> So after a few minutes, Jackie told me her friend was there, so she had to go, so I was like, okay, fine, whatever, leave me with the spider alone. I don't care, whatever. Went on FaceTime with her, and then I called my mom, and I was like, mom, I don't know what to do. There's a giant spider in my kitchen area ish and I don't know what to do what do I do I don't know what to do with the spider if you couldn't tell already I hate spiders and they absolutely terrify me I'm like super certain one's gonna like come crawling over my foot right any like second right now like any second right now I'm pretty sure there's a spider in here and I'm gonna scream 
The first thing my mom does is look up online a number for my RHD of my apartment complex and she gives me the number of him and I'm pretty sure this was from last year or something because it's not the same RHD that I have. And oh my god, this is just super terrifying. So she gives me his number and she tells me to call him and I end up not calling him. So after I hung up the phone with my mom, I also asked my mom for another guy's number who is like a family friend and I didn't end up texting him to later but he's not really part of the story. It's okay. But after I hung up the phone with my mom, I decided I was going to attempt to try and catch the spider. And first I was going to throw a box on it, but I was still terrified. The box was about this big ish. I'll insert a picture. Actually, I can, I can show you right now. The spider next to the box. It's kind of hard to see the spider as you can see because you're looking at the picture. Tried throwing a box on it, but even then I was still absolutely terrified of the spider and I didn't want to go near it enough to throw a box on it. And I kept shining, oh my gosh, there's so much to this story, it's not even funny. And then eventually I was going to get my trash can and put my trash can on top of the spider to smush it. But I was absolutely terrified of smushing the spider because I didn't want, the one thing I was worried about was it was like a mama spider and she had some babies inside of her and if I the way wow what how what was that inside of her <laughs> I thought she would have had babies inside of her and I didn't want to like smush her and let all the babies explode out that was my biggest fear in the moment and also you don't want to kill and squish a giant spider because they're just gonna the guts are gonna get everywhere and it's gonna be very gross you just never know you know you just don't no, you don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. When I failed with putting the trash can on it, I decided to shine the flashlight on it again. Whenever I moved, the spider would turn and face me and just watch me. And it was so disturbing because I would shine the flashlight on it and I could see the light reflecting in its eyes. All eight of its beady little eyes and it was absolutely terrifying. I'm not even kidding though. I saw the spider like turn its body. Like it would just sit there, stare at me from inside the hallway like facing that way. And I would move into my living room and it would turn and face me and stare at me. It knew I was terrified, but I'm pretty sure it was probably more terrified of me than I was of it. Why was I so scared? I don't know, because I hate spiders. But eventually I put the trash can in front of the spider. I was gonna attempt to move it out of the way so I can leave my apartment and go get someone to get rid of the spider. And I ended up just blocking it so I couldn't see the spider and I sneaked around the trash can and out my front door and I ran over to the office of my apartment complex. So I get to the office Office. And I walk in and the first thing I say is so I'm about to sound like a big baby right now And I'm so sorry. I explained the whole thing to the, to the RA who is in charge who is done at the desk at the moment I told the whole story to the RA and at first he told me he wasn't supposed to leave the office And that he would just try to call someone if no one came He would just lock up and then go take care of the spider for me He ended up calling someone like a couple people and no one answered That's when he decided to just lock up and come take care of it for me. He grabbed a broom, walked over to my apartment, I get to the front door, I tell him, okay, the front door's open, you go take care of it. <laughs> Because there was no way I was going to go inside there. He opens the door, looks around the side of the trash can where the spider was, and he says, yep, it's still there because I didn't know if it was going to still be there, and he, he assured me that it was definitely still there. So I'm holding like the screen door open for him, just like holding it open, and he tells me, you might want to move. So I was like, oh, okay, so I move out of the way, and he sweeps it, gets closer to the door, and I freak out, let go of the screen, and I run backwards. And he eventually he gets it out. It's still not moving, and that's when he tells me, oh, it's long dead. And in my head, I was thinking, well, that's a good spider if it's still alive, but I don't know I was confused because I saw the spider move and its eyes were like staring into my soul And I was just confused, but I was like, okay, whatever you're still my lifesaver And eventually he like barely touches it and the spider starts like squirming and like running really really fast away And that's when he was like, oh, never mind. It's still alive And he just kept sweep sweeping it away and away and eventually he got it out and I am forever in his debt He was a great guy I still don't know his name. He was cute though. But anyways, just to like backtrack a little bit, while I was on the phone with my mom, I was kind of explaining what the spider looked like and that's when she told me, after the spider was completely gone and I called her back, that's when she told me that it was a tarantula 
The way I was describing it, it sounded like a tarantula. It was like brownish, blackish in color, like a dark brownish color. It had really long, thick legs, and it was very hairy, and did I say hairy already? Well, it was just hairy. It was big, terrifying. Its legs, like its body would sit, and its legs were like that. I don't know, I'll insert a picture so you can kind of see what I uh, what was in my apartment? <laughs> I don't really want to answer the picture because post editing Ashley is gonna have to see this picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, needless to say this video is getting kind of long even though it's not supposed to be this long I thought it was gonna be a short video to be honest But that is the story of the tarantula that I found in my apartment, which was absolutely terrifying I mean every spider I've seen in my apartment just keeps getting bigger like the first one I saw was like felt like that big like it was itty bitty little bitty bitty little spider my mom ended up killing that one because I freaked out over that little thing. And then the second one I saw had like long legs, but it was still little. It was about the size. I would say its body was a little bit smaller than the size of my thumbnail. And then it had long legs. It wasn't a daddy long leg. I know that. It was a lot smaller than a daddy long leg. Like, I don't know. Its legs were thicker too. And then the one after that was probably a cockroach or a beetle that was crawling on me. But at night while I was trying to sleep, there was something black and big that was crawling on me. And I thought it was a spider. I freaked out. I had a panic attack for 30 minutes that night. And then that one was a lot bigger. It was about the size of my actual thumb, like that big. And then the one after that was the tarantula. So I went from like this big to this big. I can't. I cannot. I just... I hate spiders. I really, really do. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this story and the entire time I was kind of like scared for myself, you were probably laughing. So if you did laugh at my fear, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed this video. And also thumbs up the video if you want to see more story times because I have a ton more story times that I could tell you right now. If you are brand new to my channel and you've made it this far, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I was about to do this again. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on a video and you'll get notified every time that I upload. And that is it for this video. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.